Back to the daily grind and y'all know we gotta talk about this, but before we do make sure you hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy cause you know what time it is, it's full time. MMA. UFC former heavyweight title challenger Francis Ngannou is back and he's answering Derek Lewis's callouts. Derek Lewis has been coming out. He, you know, this fight's been building for a while now. And if you recall, leading up to Derek Lewis's last fight, he said that he, if he wins, he's gonna get on the mic and he's gonna drop the whole "Where's Ronda Rousey's fine ass" line and he's changing it up. Eric, Eric, he said he's got a rematch. He said he's gonna say, "Where's Francis's tired ass at?" But Derek Lewis must have been a little tired himself because he forgot that part of the call out. But the, it's all good. It's all good. He didn't call him out in the octagon. Derek Lewis went on the MMA hour after his third round comeback knockout over Marcin Tipura. And that's where he continued to call out Francis Ngannou and said, that's who I want. You know, I'm, I, I'll, I'll fight Francis. I'll fight the winner of like Verdum and Volkov. Or Derek Lewis is trying to work back toward the title. But the thing is, Francis Ngannou, you know, after losing, losing to Stipe Miocic, went out, I believe he went to Africa for a couple of weeks. He said he's going to take a little bit of vacation, go to the homeland, you know what I'm saying? Find a couple big booty African bitches. No, he didn't say that, but you know, hey, it is what it is. Now, Francis was over there. I saw some pictures on his Instagram, you know, doing the Lord's work, doing a lot of community work, you know, taking pictures with people, doing all that dope ass stuff. But now Francis Ngannou's taken to Instagram and he said, Derek Lewis has been talking some of his shit while I was off. Can someone please let him know that I am here now? So if he really wants me, he should send his manager to deal with the UFC. Yo, yo, Francis got hot bars. If he really wants me, tell his manager he should go deal with the UFC. Uh huh, uh huh. All right. <laughs> No, but Francis is back and he's accepted the call out and he said Derek Lewis don't just I hope you're keeping that same energy now that I'm back Derek Lewis been doing a lot of calling out now that I'm ready neither one of us got a fight scheduled What's going on swinging? Why don't you bring that swinging bang my way now the fight gonna have to make sure it's a three-round fight we, we've discussed this before we've seen both of these guys look like they you know have gas going into the third round maybe second some fights who knows we'll say third be nice so if this is a three-round fight we've got an epic showdown heavyweight showdown on our hands if this is a five-round fight we have a potential shit show i'm talking about dada 5000 versus kimbo because we just i'm just saying Matt, could you imagine going into the fourth round no one's knocked out both of these guys are just super tired I mean, yeah, anyone's going to be able to, like, connect, you know, Francis or Derek could still connect at any moment, as we just saw in Derek Lewis's last fight versus Marcin Tibora. A lot of people thought he was out of it, but he was just conserving his energy, lost the first two rounds, came back and got the knockout in the third round, set him up for this big possible Francis and got a rematch, and this fight is just, if it gets scheduled, it's just going to be fucking so big, bro, like, I... Derek Lewis versus Francis Ngannou is the fight to make. My question, yo, that, that fight could definitely head headline any fucking non-pay-per-view. I mean, we're going to leave that for a topic for another day. But I'm, all I'm saying is, where do you guys think this fight's going to happen? I think I've got a great landing spot. Francis Ngannou's just coming back, you know. He's going to need a camp, so you probably don't want to put him on UFC 225. UFC 224 is definitely out of the picture in Brazil in a couple weeks. But UFC 226... Cormier versus Stipe, Francis Ngannou versus Derek Lewis on the undercard or on the pay-per-view, must watch, it's already a must watch pay-per-view with DC and Stipe on there, but if you think about it, when Stipe fought Francis, they did pretty good pay-per-view numbers, and Daniel Cormier was also on that card, so since you've still got Stipe and Cormier coming back to the pay-per-view, you can bring Francis versus Lewis, that's just going to add to it, and that's not even counting any other fights that might land on UFC 226, I'm thinking UFC 226 is looking like it's going to be a 800,000 to a million pay-per-view by card, without a Conor McGregor, without a John Jones, and without a Ronda Rousey because this card is going to be so good, especially if they put this fight on there, Stipe versus Cormier, we've seen a lot of champions campaigning to be on that card, so I'm sure you can get more title fights on that card, I mean, so we'll see what happens, UFC 226 is where I would like to see this fight, but anywhere is where I would like to see this fight, anytime, any place. Francis Ngannou versus Derek Lewis gets my money, with that being said, it is what it is, let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell right next to it so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'm out.
Da-da-da-da-da! It's the motherfucking D-O-double-G! <laughs>